All of you have heard about the situation of Pastor David Wilson. From Texarkana, Texas, I believe that's where he's from. He pastors a church, has been there for many years, even been a head of the Black Chamber of Commerce. And unfortunately, he has the scandal where this video comes out. And this is a video of him apparently eating the box of one of his parishioners at his church. And everybody has come down pretty hard on good old Rev. Including myself. I had a lot to say about Rev. Now, Rev, who is an older preacher, should have known better than to let that happen. But I guess even the greats make mistakes. And I talked about that in a video I did yesterday on my live stream. But the person that he is and for what he's doing, it's evident possibly he's been doing this a long time, although he's married. So I can't defend him because nobody told him to become a preacher. Nobody told him to become a pastor. Nobody told him to preach God's word. Nobody told him to live up to that particular level of expectations. So I can't defend his particular actions. But at the same time, nobody is talking about the other person in that video. And that is some fat bellied uh, female who is receiving that oral copulation. And nobody really knows her name. Who is this? She's holding the camera. And she goes off free. And this is typical of black churches. Um, the pastors are always crucified. And then the ladies act as if they had nothing to do with it. They were taken advantage of. And they are usually consoled and welcomed back into the membership while, you know, the pastor faces scrutiny, loses his job, possibly um, membership declines. And uh, is publicly embarrassed uh, for the whole city and church family to see. So I have to defend him on this particular idea, and I hope that you get it. And ask a question that's important: Could David Wilson eat the box by himself? Ask yourself that: Could he do this by himself? with someone else not being complicit, it, meaning that he didn't uh, force anybody to do this. There was no armed robbery or what you would call forced uh, 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 situations for this to happen. What we're seeing is somebody else on the opposite side who is receiving that who wants to do this and enjoying it so much so she's recording it. Now, I want to bring your attention to something that happened at Shiloh Baptist Church. I will not name the preacher, but it happened in the early 2000s. Shiloh Baptist Church, one of the oldest black prestigious Baptist churches in Sacramento, California, had a pastor who was sleeping with a deacon's wife and supposedly his daughter. In, in other words, Rev was keeping it in the family. OK, and um, this was going on for some time, even happening in the pastor study. Now, Think about this. The lady is going to the pastor's study. Not to study. But to engage in these activities. All right. This is something that she's doing um, out of her own free will. But good old Reb gets exposed for this. Which he should. And even the deacon's uh, wife, who was the one that's getting you know, screwed in pastor study. She, he's not mad at the wife. He's mad at good Reverend. Oh, and by the way, good Reverend is uh, taxing your daughter too. But then everybody goes and hugs the lady and talks about how she was taken advantage of. And she walks off scot-free, which brings me to the title of my video in the defense of Raven David Wilson. What about the women in the church that consistently throw themselves at these black pastors. And I can tell you this for a fact, I'm a YouTuber, not with the huge following. Women have thrown it to me. All right. Now we got to talk about this. How many 
preachers in black churches start off wanting to do the right thing. I believe all of them start off wanting to do the right thing. All of them start off with the zeal and the energy uh, to do the right thing, at least most of them. But see, women want to mess with these guys. You see, these ladies in the church, uh, they know that these pastors are married. They see that these guys have wives. They play with these pastors, uh, children uh, at church, before church, after church, kissing on them. But who do you think is calling the pastor's cell phone, wanting somebody to come and console them? You know, uh, there have been stories of women who will sit near the front row of churches while the pastor's preaching, not have any panties on, and they will um, cross their legs back and forth so that their dress open so the pastor can see, you know, what's going on down there. So this happens all the time. And women who are so in love and infatuated with pastors, you know, they will do almost anything. And see, here's the thing. They will do it because they want many times to be that first lady. You know, they'll send, you know, like a, a, a new thing now is they'll get the pastor's phone number, text the pastor. Then start sending them videos. Pastor, how I look in this today? Do I look nice in this today, Reverend? Sending freaky videos, sending freaky emails. Now, obviously, if the pastor goes and exposes it, then she can go tell and all this other stuff, right? And see, but, and if the pastor starts sleeping with her, and if he don't leave his wife, see, now we add another problem, okay? Because she's telling the pastor, now that he's hitting it, you need to leave your wife, Okay. When you gonna leave her for me? You're not happy. I'll do whatever she's not doing for you. See, here come all these promises. And if the pastor don't do it all of a sudden, now she's gonna go to the church. Now all the stuff and the video recordings that she got and all the nasty emails, now she wanna put the man out there and play the victim. At the same time, nobody in the church is gonna look at her as being a problem. She's going to still be allowed to be in the church. She's going to still be allowed to be there. Although she's the one that's also responsible for breaking up that pastor's home, breaking up that pastor's family. She's just as guilty as he is, but they never look at the women. And see what I'm about to say is, 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 is unpopular, but if, if it's not David Wilson, it will be somebody else. It will be somebody else. As long as you have women in churches that want to sleep with pastors, you are going to see that. Because, see, women can really make this uh, very easy. Because I just really don't believe that these pastors are just going around hollering at all these chicks. They don't have to. Women throw themselves at preachers. Women throw themselves at popular YouTubers. William, w- w- a woman throw themselves at rap artists and Instagram artists. W- women throw themselves at successful guys. They don't have to do anything. All you got to do is show up. That's just the damn truth. And women in churches are just as guilty as preachers because they know that the guy is married. They know that this is a sin. The, what does the Bible say? Do, should, do not sue people if you're not married. Who do you think going to these conferences? Church of God in Christ convocation, uh, new uh, 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 National Baptist Convention. That's women going there. Women who are going there uh, to sleep with men, to sleep with preachers. Just like women go to All-Star Game, All-Star Weekend, Super Bowl Weekend. You have Christian women that go and do the same damn thing. Trying to find a pastor, trying to find a deacon, trying to find somebody as a minister of music. This is what they do. And if they can't get their way, now I'm going to expose you. I'm going to put the videos up there. I'm going to go like I'm a victim. And you know what? I just can't accept that. I have a problem with that. 
And black men in these churches need to start standing up for corruption in the church with female members. Female members who get away with it because they pay the most money, it doesn't make it right. They are also complicit in these things. And this is why a lot of guys, a lot of preachers, you can't meet with women by themselves. You know, I have a hard time, even, you know, certain subscribers or whoever else, even video chatting, sending certain messages, because anybody can use that stuff. Emails. So this is my defense of the Reverend. You guys like him, man. Let me know what you think. Um, subscribe at the bell. Thank you guys for supporting. All my contact information is pinned to the top. Let me know what you think. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.